Hey, Crit Sandwich listeners, if you love our show as much as our moms do, get on iTunes or Apple Podcasts and leave us a review. Thanks. Is your stomach growleth? Because it's time for another Crit Sandwich. Welcome to Crit Sandwich. On Crit Sandwich, four friends play 5th edition D&D campaigns loosely based on some of our favorite films, TV shows, and video games. We use adult language, have inconsistent character voices, and often screw up the rules. If you're new to Crit Sandwich, go back to any episode one. We're about to get into episode three. You know, just go back a couple or go back to one of our earlier seasons and binge the heck out of it. There are four campaigns in the archives. Go lap them up like a lick of tongue. For this campaign, our characters are monsters in the world of Pokemon, playing through the plot of Mad Max Fury Road. I am Casey Sears. I am your dungeon master for this campaign. Woo! Yeah! Yeah. To my left yeah. is Chuck Ventus. Woo! Yeah. Hello. Proud Name Papa. Chuck. Chuck Ventus. Yes. I just welcomed a newborn, new baby girl. Number two. Number two kids. We're, it's, it's even ground, kids versus parents, so no more. So, so Chuck will be is, outnumbered. Chuck's low energy on this episode. Blame the baby. <laughs> yeah. Our energy level was up high, and then Chuck's... What happened? <laughs> I'll be fine. Cross the table from me. Robbie Ponder. Hello. How you doing? Good. Ain't no one going to cheer for me? Woohoo. <laughs> well, you didn't have a kid. Good job. And you're not a dungeon master. Yeah. Although it's been so long since I since we all saw each other and sat down at this table, uh, in part because of the kid, but uh, Rob, I don't think I've ever seen you with hair or a beard that long. Yeah, I'm growing it out. Growing it out. You're like a different person. Like, I don't even know who's sitting at the table. <laughs> That's what uh, Chuck's wife was saying. She uh, said if I had knocked on her door, she probably would have never let me in. We have cameras now. Oh, yeah, got one of those? I've been I looking at those. I installed some uh, cameras, so... It's so They're funny. motion censored, so like whenever motion goes off, like it sends an alert to both of our phones. I just and put one up, pull too. it up, and see it. I, I what kind? Just Pelican. We did blink. Okay. Blink, yeah. I have blink. a Nest thermostat, so I was thinking about the Nest doorbell to just kind of oh, yeah, have yeah. it all in one app. That. This episode brought to you by Blink, Nest, and Pelican. To my right is an empty chair this week. Oh, dun, dun, dun. so Matt Popich is unable to join us. Matt's wife was in a very serious car accident and uh, his priorities lie with his kids and family, but he'll be back for the next campaign for sure. Just as a note, uh, his wife will be totally OK. I think the worst is behind them, mm-hmm. but there's a, a long road to recovery that he will need to be around for. Absolutely. So we are recording this. We're actually recording this right after episode two released to the public. It released yesterday. Yesterday, yeah. And we have never been out of episodes banked. <laughs> yeah, this is uh, it's a little scary. <laughs> we're still on track. So you're probably listening to us uh, the first Monday in August. So That's everything's, great. yeah, we should have plenty of time to edit and everything. There might be a break between campaigns. We're still trying to figure out what we want to do, how this wants, uh, how this is going to work. We already recorded an episode zero for campaign six, and Matt is supposed to DM that for us. Mm-hmm. Hopefully, we don't have to call an audible, but uh, again, we might wait a little bit, have a bit of a late summer, or actually, it'll probably be like a fall break at that point. I would think maybe a month or two if we did take a break, but we definitely plan on coming back because yeah. we just enjoy, we enjoy doing this. It's so much fun, so we like that you guys enjoy listening to it and uh, we want to keep producing. Yep, and so we're going to stay on our release schedule by recording without Matt, unfortunately, but he's going to be back. And Matt, if you're listening, which I know you are, we miss you, buddy. Eh, I'm just kidding. I miss it. <laughs> I miss you. Is that Charlie? Or yeah, that... it's kind of a... I miss you. All right, so it has been, a, it's been like, <laughs> it's been like two months since since we've been together here. Let's just, let's see, we got Charlie the Charmander, played by Chuck. Charlie! We got Solid the Ekans. Yep. Played by Robbie. I do not have a character voice this time. This is going to be real awesome. I'm just kidding. You always say you don't have a character voice until you do. Yes. <laughs> did, I, did I say that last time? I don't know. The character voice just comes from within. I feel like in the first campaign, when I was doing the 
Like he kind of, like we just kind of figured it out a few episodes in. And that's uh, one of the hard parts about doing shorter campaigns yeah. is like you don't really figure out your character voice. I don't uh-huh. like a nice long one. You really get it. You really figure it out. I mean, this one, I basically, I, I'm just trying to mimic what a Charmander sounds like. So that's why I have the annoying high pitch voice. But I always have an annoying high pitch voice. So <laughs> you are the. Uh, I have the, the highest tenor, voice. Yes. The tenor of the group. Wait, aren't tenors low? Mm. Wouldn't it be a uh, soprano's sopran- a lady? But well, that would be me, of course. <laughs> <laughs> uh, t- it's uh, I feel like it's like t- a soprano, alto, tenor. Soprano is higher than all of them. I think alto is higher than tenor, but it's a woman f- singer. Baritone is the middle one, and is uh, bass yeah, yeah. just the lowest men one? I yeah. don't know. I, I went to art school. Yeah. I was in band, but I still don't remember. It's choir, only, choir only, class is what you need to know. I only did it for uh, music credits, and then I was done as soon as I got them. <laughs> All right, so the three of you, along with a cadabra named Psychosa, three meows named Snow, Ice, and Midnight, all just got done sparring on the back of a tow truck. You successfully dispatched three vehicles. And you are all crammed into the dirt and greased covered leather seats. Just as a reminder to myself and the audience, who has which meowth? I have ice. And uh, I have snow. Robbie has snow and Matt has midnight. Okay. For, well, not for long. (laughs) Oh, no. Oh, no. (laughs) (laughs) Well, you know, he was mean to her, so. No, he was, well... No, he was mean. Machop's yeah. a real... Was kind of a jerk, that's right. Yeah, sorry, Matt. Machop, you know. He knows. <laughs> Matt knows. He said. He said, yeah. You guys are in this truck. It's greasy. It's cramped. There is a very focused cadabra gripping the wheels of the truck, driving towards a storm. And this storm is unlike anything you have ever seen. There's a wall of green and gray clouds stretching all the way to your left, all the way to the right, crossing the entire horizon. It starts at the ground and goes up into just these low hanging clouds, like a, like a massive anvil just charging right at you. What kind of colors are we experiencing? Is it's, it like toxic, toxic stuff? Yes, it is a toxic, toxic cloud. So Midnight, the, the pregnant Meowth wearing the black shawl, says, King Meowth likes it warm. He set the coughings and the wheezing loose to block out the sun and trap the heat underneath. And then they lit up the forest. Uh, eventually, the coughings got away from them, and they continued to thrive up in the sky and all live in one great storm. The poison storm. Ice adds, Meowth would always complain about it, tearing up his caravans. It's a lot bigger than I imagined. And then Psychosa speaks directly into all of your minds and says, It's grown. If it keeps growing, it could take over the whole continent. I don't... Oh, go ahead. (laughs) I don't feel there's anything we can do about this. Yeah, because you said said last time, like this, we're we're driving into this thing, right? There's no avoiding it. Like, we're going to hit this thing, right? Psychosa is taking you directly into the storm. She drops a gear and steps on the gas. Speaking directly into your minds again, she says... Roll up the windows now. And Psychosis windows, just those hand cranks, you know, those old, old-fashioned <laughs> yeah. hand crank windows. The one just next to her just starts buzzing as she uses her psychic powers to start cranking it up. I'm just going to pretend like I'm sitting next to the other one. I'm going to, in a panic, like, <laughs> like try and uh, spin that thing up. You get it a couple cranks and then it freezes. What the, I, f- what the fuck? I kick the <laughs> door. Stuck. I kick the door a little bit. <laughs> you whack it with your tail? Yeah, I whack it with my tail. Is it uh, like legitimately frozen, like ice, or it's just like stuck? It's just stuck. Machop pushes you out of the way and tries to crank it up too. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> I'll give him advantage because you guys are helping. And he rips the handle right off the window. Or right off the door. The crank. After it goes up all the way? No. <laughs> he looks embarrassed. I, I had it. I call him a dumbass. I had it all under control. Sometimes you have to think about what you're going to do before you do, before you go using your brute strength. 
Gosh. What, what do we do? Anything you can do, anything you can do to, 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 to shut it, to, to cover it up. Is uh, what Ice says. The seats that we're sitting on, can I like kind of scratch at them to try and rip up some of the... Totally. Uh, I don't know, the, the fabric and yeah. try and like push it up against the uh, open space. Perfect. Do it. Do I need a roll for that? Yeah. Uh, okay. I rolled a two. <laughs> I have tiny nails. <laughs> Does someone want to help him? Ice, you want to give me a hand with this? She, yeah, she <laughs> sees what you're doing with your claws and also busts out her claws and starts tearing it up. Uh, I rolled a six. <laughs> Is How? this a strength check? Because I might actually be like with athletics, I guess. I was thinking more like a sleight of hand because this is oh. some crafty work here with plus your claws. Plus one. I'm really good at it. Seven. I got a, I got a plus seven to sleight of hand. Well, let's get uh, at it, Snake Boy. Come on. It's so funny because you have I no hands. I don't have no claws, dude. <laughs> yeah. What am I going to do? Bite the tail. seat? Bite the seat? I can't use my tail. It's not going to rip anything. Well, one uh, seat's already shredded and you guys are running out of time. All right. I stick my tail in, in the seat cushion. I, I move it past all the springs and I like, slide it down. And I tell Charmander, hey, you sl- already sliced this side. Slice this other side. I have it loose. You got it. Roll with advantage because you're getting help. We'll say Snow's helping you. That one's a nine. You can't use the other one because uh, it's a 16. one. Sixteen. <laughs> hey, that's good enough. You rip out a window-sized shape of leather from the back of the seat and pass it along to the front. Machop uh, grabs the leather and holds it up against the open window. How big is the crack? Like three inches, six inches? All, all like the whole window is open? Uh, he's... He's covering it mostly, and then uh, Midnight is moving around him, kind of tucking the leather into some of like the cracks around the door and stuff, making a you know bracing it, mm-hmm. kind of you know sealing it off a little bit better. If there's any space, I'll try and help. I guess like okay. stick my little paw up if there's sure an area to help cover. Yeah, you help do a, little, a couple tucks. Mm-hmm. Tuck it in. Solid will tell Chompy. Hey, don't push on it too hard. Just hold it up there. You're you're holding it up there. Don't push too hard. Don't break the window. <laughs> so funny because he's not here. Yeah, <laughs> we can do whatever we want. <laughs> yeah, you're ours now, Matt. Yeah. So as the the truck continues to accelerate, you guys look in the rearview mirror, and the vehicles. Uh, there were several vehicles chasing you, and they're starting to get just a bit closer as you cross into the storm. passing through a massive dust wall. And once you get in there, you guys hear the, the flapping of, of the leather over the window and the, the beating of dust and bone parts and rocks against the hood. And it's the booming of lightning above you and the sound of tornadoes spinning within the storm itself. It's so deafening and it's so loud. You go to speak or say something and then you realize you have to shout. It's just like it's such a constant tunnel of noise. And you, uh, you look up through the toxic dust that's, that's pouring down on the truck and you see countless wheezings and coughings suspended in the sky, spewing toxic clouds as they surf and bob on the ocean of wind currents that make up the upper part of the storm. Mixed in with the floating Pokemon, the coughings and wheezings are just countless skeletons of them. They have these like weird little round spiny skeletons and they just live up there just spewing, spewing poison and eventually they die and their skeletons are so light they just kind of float and bob around. What's a skeleton look like of a coffin? Is it just look like a moon? It's like a pufferfish skeleton is what I looked up in order to get inspired for this. Huh. It's got, um, it's imagine like a bunch of spine, like hollow, thin spine columns going around in a circle. Does that make sense? Yeah, definitely. So you guys get a, uh, you know, you're now d- uh, into the storm, feeling the vehicle shake. You're looking around and there's there's dust devils and tornadoes made of the poison gas. They're just wandering the inside of the storm. And the clouds above you, above all of the coughings and wheezings, flash with lightning. Can I shout, since it's so loud, Yeah, I have to shout. So can I shout to Psychosa, how much further? She says uh, in your mind, I don't know. She makes uh, some driving checks, barely, barely dodges some tornadoes as she's weaving and darting throughout. And it's so hard to see. They just like, they're like, you maybe only have like 30 or 40 feet of vision into the into the storm in front of you. And then just a tornado will pop up and the 
truck itself will just jerk to the side and jerk back around. And then eventually you, you notice that Psychosa, as she's driving, is just driving with her eyes completely closed, feeling and sensing, understanding the nature of the storm instead of using her eyes to navigate it. Good. You guys feel as if you have an advantage with this psychic Pokemon behind the wheel. After you guys have been in the storm for a couple minutes, you guys see popping out of the fog of dust beside you, three Growliths on three separate dirt bikes. They look horrible. They're all cut up and battered. The storm itself has just been like ripping off their fur and the, the rocks and the bones and everything have just been giving them tiny little cuts and lacerations as they are driving and approaching the vehicle. Oh, so they're still, so it's not, so it's slowly ripping away at their like flesh yes. while they're out there. So yeah. it's beating um, them up. They're wearing like leather and stuff because why not? The parts of them that are exposed are being pretty ripped up. Okay. Roll for I, initiative. Yeah. <laughs> 17 for Charlie. What'd you get, Robbie? Solid got a six. The Growlithe's got an 18. Oh, shit. So the back window, is it completely open or is it that shut? Was there like a small the, window for us to crawl through and then... The well, back window's shut, but you can open it. You can open it, okay. But I'm under the impression that we would be experiencing the same harms that these Growlithe's are experiencing if we step outside of this thing, correct? Correct. Yeah, yeah. I am damage resistant to poison. So. Ah. If anyone's going to go out there, I'll go out there. Well, I have an idea as to what I'm going to do, but it is very chaotic. <laughs> so the Growliths are on the. We'll say they're on the right side of the vehicle, right? I didn't say what side they were on before, right? No. Good, because they're on the right side of the vehicle mm-hmm. where uh, Machop is holding the leather up over the window and they start blasting fire at that window. Two hit one is critical. That's not good. They do damage to both the truck and the window, and that leather starts to incinerate and catch fire and burn as they spit spit little embers out hmm. uh, across the desert. That's not good. Our Next. little barrier protection is... Uh... <laughs> They're on motorcycles? Yes. I'm going to tell Psychosa... Well, to it, let, me, let me... Uh, let me... Hang on. Let's go. Charlie's turn. Yeah. So <laughs> I see that they're on. I see that they're on uh, motorcycles, and I say, "They're right next to us. Ram them!" And I'll grab the wheel and jerk it to the right to try and ram the truck into them. Okay. Oh my gosh. We'll just make that a dexterity attack roll. Five. So I try to reach over and grab the wheel and jerk it over. But uh, I'm unsuccessful, I would Correct. say, with a five. You are not close enough to them. You're having a hard time seeing through that window that's made of leather. Oh, okay. Is that your turn? Yeah, your kitty cat turn, too. Yep. What is she going to do? I'm going to have her work on another section of like cushion to cut up, just in case this one gets pulled up, and then she, we can throw another one up there. She's okay. going to start ripping into this, whatever, like the middle section of the seat. Sure. Let's have her make a, a throw for that. Oh, my gosh. Roll six. Plus... What is it, Dex? How about Midnight helps her? Give yourself advantage, because she doesn't have anything to do. 14. That's that, got to work. Yeah. So, yeah, she's cutting it out this turn. Yeah, I'll say plus with the Dex, it's 16 total. So, digging into the seat, trying to get more padding ready to go. So, and that's it. Robbie. Go I, outside the truck. <laughs> I don't know what to do. How about you say, well, I'm not going to tell you how to play your character, but you could say, like, that section of padding that you're cutting up, or shut the window behind me. I'm going outside. Be like, be a badass. Be a hero, Robbie. Be a hero. Get out there. Control the crane. Whip these guys. <laughs> you I, can edit all this out so you're like, oh, I thought of the greatest no. thing. I'm going to go <laughs> out the window. <laughs> it's, perfectly, it's perfectly fine to give me advice when I'm kind of stuck on what to do. Well, I'll, you have resistance to po- you're resistant to poison, I know, so I but feel like you could go out in this. I'm Casey's, afraid to go out. Casey says there's small rocks and stuff, too, so I'll take damage from that. Yeah. So, like a D4, come on. Well, now that I know it's only a D4, I go outside. No, I'm, I, I was planning on going. That's the only thing for me to do, okay? I will tell my chomp, I'm like, hey, make me a small hole. I'm going I'm going out there. Chomp, chomp. Wait, wait, wait. Just open the back window. He doesn't have to make a hole for <laughs> it. I feel like if he made a small section of hole, it would only make like a small area for me to go. So, co- it's, I, this it's, is on the there's, side. There's a hole burning through it right now. 
How far is the other motorcycle? Especially since we tried to ram it. Is it jumpable? They're, they are... <laughs> we'll say the closest one... Well, see, since you guys just tried to ram it, they were about 20 feet away. Now they're about 10 feet away. There you go. Crane range? Yes. I go to the crane. So you use your movement to slither out of the hole in the window to get to the crane? Correct. So you can... Uh, that gives you an action to move the crane into position. I'd say it's behind you now. So if you swing it to the side, you can try to hit one of them. <laughs> I move it to the side. Give me an intelligence check, an intelligence attack roll. Oh, boy. Minus two. I'm pretty sure everybody has a minus two intelligence. Yeah, we do. A six. <laughs> <laughs> they want, ain't no one using this crane. <laughs> uh, so I will say that the bigger the target is, as far as vehicles go, the easier it is to hit, and you do not hit that motorcycle. You swing that crane around, and it's just it's just too far away. I came out here to be the hero, and now I'm just a zero. <laughs> <laughs> so the Growliths, one goes up to the back of the truck, jumps on, and goes after you, Solid. They kill me. <laughs> does 18 hit? Yes. He does six bite or piercing damage with his bite as he grabs your tail while you're sitting there with your top half of your torso moving crevers and laying... Uh, levers and moving the controls around with the the crane. He just grabs your tail, locks on with his teeth. He also, uh, at the beginning of his turn, took three uh, poison damage. You have a ton of health. I just looked over there. Yeah, he's the highest CR <laughs> yeah. of all you guys. He's the strongest. I, I have, like, no health. <laughs> They're talking about the Ekans. I have a lot of health, and I have a high CR. Hmm. Oh, and you got hurt last time too, right, Chuck? Mm -hmm. you, you're not at full health. No. Okay. I'm. I have 18 out of 23. Okay, that's not bad. That's not terrible. Yeah. So I am at 29 out of 38. I was saying that for the audience. One of the other Growlis comes up and tries to grab Machop through the <gasps> window. No. He grabs and holds on to Machop. And I Machop's, call bullshit. <laughs> Machop's, hey, man, you can look at the die over here. I don't care. Uh, and uh, he's hanging on to Machop, trying to pull him out of the window. Uh, they're they're locked, locked together, trying to fight it out. And the other is going to spit an ember into the cab. Does a 15 hit ice? Yes. Armor yes. class of 12. I have an armor class of 14, but I have a damage resistance to fire. He said hit ice. Ice. Oh, ice, yeah. It's a 12. Yeah. Because yeah. wait, wait, who would her. be... So wait, were ice and midnight the ones getting the... Midnight, um, midnight... Were they the ones ripping choppy. out the chair? Uh, yeah, they were ripping okay, out the so chair. Okay, so it would... I would say it actually, it's going to hit snow. Whoa. Because snow would... Snow, <laughs> the <laughs> others are in the back seat. She'd be in the front cab. Okay. She is up there making some sketches of her next dance moves, filing her nails. <laughs> she takes five fire damage. <laughs> Those are the three Growlis. We have one on the back of the truck with teeth sunk into Solid's tail. We have one grappling with Machop, and we have one still on its bike spitting flames into the cab. Yes, we do. Uh, snow, snow is down to one HP. Yikes. She looks real rough. Uh, she's, putting off, she's putting out the flames on her fur. So the guy, uh, I'm right next to Choppy, correct? Correct. All right, so I feel like I need to help him. But at the same time, I need to... He's pretty strong. Mm -hmm. I feel like Choppy could uh, handle himself. And I, I'll say, uh, Choppy, you got this. You're, you're tough, man. Ice, we need to get outside right meow. That was a stupid <laughs> joke. <laughs> I'll jump it. out the uh, back window. Is it just two growlets or is there a third one on a bike? There's a third Another one on one. a bike. I'll jump out the, uh, the, to the back window and shoot at the the one actually i'll shoot a lava uh a lava plume at the one that is right next to ekans that's on the back ain't gonna hit it's a five we gonna die i'm like uh <laughs> the gas is uh making me cough i'm having trouble uh conjuring a fireball out here do you get any flames out maybe a little so no. <laughs> what little flames you do get out fly past the growlith and go beyond the back of the truck and hit one of those poisonous, one of the poisonous dust devils kind of swirling about on the ground and ignites it into just a big giant fireball. Uh, <laughs> that doesn't sound good. 
You idiot. <laughs> <laughs> shit, yeah. <laughs> oh, shit. What about Ice? Ice, she jumps out. I think she had like a screwdriver or a wrench or something. She's just going to jump out the back with me and run up right to the one that was uh, attacking Solid and uh, whack it over the head with the wrench. 11 plus 4, 15. Hits. Sweet. Four damage of scratching, or well... Bludgeoning? Up, yeah, bludgeoning. Sure. <laughs> uh, this guy's already looks pretty pretty beat up. I mean, he looked beat up before he got on there, and now he's looking roughed up there even more. Solid, what you doing? The guy that just hit me, I would hit him. Hit him with my poisonous bite. That is a crit. Yeah. It's roll crit roll TV 20 for me. It's not a crit sandwich. Mm. Let's roll your damage. Yep. I only, uh, I only add my modifier once, yep. but I rolled the two dice. Yep. I only crit like 5% of the time. Uh, also, Matt, if you're listening, we're going to mess up so many rules with that you hear. That's true. Matt is a very good uh, rule. Yeah, he, that's like his he, role. He knows all the shit. He knows everything. He loves <laughs> reading it over and over and over, and he just memorizes it all, soaks it all up. That's 20 damage. What? Yeah. Describe your kill. Oh, man. So I, uh, I bite at him after he swipes at me. Eat and... him whole. Eat him whole. No. <laughs> yeah, that'd be funny. Him How whole. fat I would be. Eat him, him whole. whole. Eat and him then whole. there's going to be a pregnant egg in so yeah. Yeah. You, That's funny. You slowly digest this growl throughout the rest of the campaign. Yeah. I will, my movement speed will decrease because uh, I will be encumbered. <laughs> <laughs> we'll just think if we get someone else to play to take Matt's spot, it could be the Growlithe. Yeah. Like it could oh just goodness. come back out of you. You just you could birth it. Uh. Spit him up. <laughs> 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 okay, so I don't see any penalties <laughs> beating this guy. I'm gonna be able to be thin still. <laughs> no. No, no, you're gonna be uh, a big I can't old eat him. I like baby. being thin. <laughs> so vain. Oh it's a fantasy world, oh. and I want you to fantasize me being thin. <laughs> For once, <laughs> for once, yes. Uh, so I bite at him and I, I, I bite at his and then I, I hit his eye, oh. and the poison starts him filling his eye, and then you, the, his eyeball just pops. Oh, jeez! Yeah. And then he just falls off the uh, off the back of the truck. You're really in the spirit of this game. Like that's really the kind of campaign I was going for. Let's get into more body horror here. I've seen, I've mm. seen the movie now, and now I know. <laughs> Why there is a Snorlax with breast milk? <laughs> That's exactly good. Why. I want. There's going to be some mother's milk on this truck. I gotta find it and reheal myself. I gotta find that milk. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So yeah, you pop an eyeball, and uh, that Growlithe screams, screams in horror. Traitors! Traitors! As he wanders and falls backwards and falls <laughs> off the back of the truck. Oh, by the way, you took uh, three poison damage at the beginning of this turn. I think that's probably one of my favorite things so far is when the enemies die. They say some ridiculous stuff sometimes. So, <laughs> yeah. so Matt, let me ask you if I have resistance to... Po- oh, wait. Casey, if I have resistance <laughs> to poison, I just take half of the three damage? Is that what it is? Yeah, round up, so it'd be two. Two, all right. But that is the total Matt question. Matt, where you at? We miss you, buddy. I will use my movement. Can I move? To, um... You can move back into the truck, too, if you wanted to. Mm. Where's that guy's bike? Did it just fall? Like, he jumped yeah. off his bike? Or yep. the ground fell behind you. His bike? Gone. I will move on top of the hood where the other Growlithe is at, I'm, and I'm going to start glaring at him. Oh, so you're going to look down at the one that's kind of hanging out the window, or the one that's on his bike? There's one kind of right next to the truck, grabbed onto uh, Choppy. I go cross-eyed, and I look at both of them. All right. (laughs) All right, yeah, so you're on top of the cab. Snow, is she just going to hide and cower now that she's hurt? Yeah, I think it's best for her to hide. If there's a place for her to protect herself from, if there's any poison that that gets in here, she's going to, like, She can climb under the seat. There's not so much a back seat, but there are all those stacks of books, and she can hide behind Cadabra behind the uh, front seat, behind the driver's side seat around that stack of books or on that stack of books. Yeah, so I guess we're going to say she's using an action to hide, I guess. Yes, um, hide D&D is a good terms. action. Yeah. Do I need to roll now for it? You can make it. I mean, you can make a stealth check, but it's... She, she just won't be targeted. Oh, my God. That was a... <laughs> Nine. All right. Uh, she's under some books and her butt sticking out. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm hidden, but yeah. <laughs> her tail just is going. Yeah, tail. <laughs> the Growlithe that was hanging on to Choppy 
all of a sudden, they're both gone. Disappeared into the Death Star behind you. We all see this. As as Choppy fighting, punching this thing, just punching him over and over and over and over in the face. He just loses his balance and falls forward. (laughs) Yeah, chop, 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 chop. Disappears into the dust behind you guys. I will cry out his name. Same here. Choppy! The other Growlithe on the uh, driving to the side on the passenger side looks up at the snake on coiled on top of the cab and spits an ember out. Yeah. 17 to hit your AC. <laughs> oh, got me. He does four fire damage. There's only one Growlithe left. I shoot him with a lava plume. 19 hits. Oh, you take... um. How much damage do I take? Four poison damage at the start of your turn. I'm, I'm dead. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I shoot a uh, lava plume at him. I'm, I'm angry that uh, my friend was taken. I'm probably dead. And this guy's already beat up pretty bad. Uh, 17 fire damage. Describe your kill. I just engulf him with flames and then you just see a, a, a burst of fire and then when it when he the fire the flames go away you can just see him just like frozen to his, it's just a carcass just like slowly withering away into dust on the bike so his his flaming dust riddled carcass on that motorcycle keeps driving forward and veers off a bit to the right and hits another one of those dust devils yeah. that's made of poison and oh, the yeah, whole shit. poison <laughs> dust devil explodes <laughs> and it just him and his body and his bike go flying. Yeah, this is pretty dangerous out here with this uh this gas. <laughs> yeah, don't let your tail touch anything it shouldn't. Well, my tail is constantly lit, so what does that mean? Am I just like kind of like leaving a trail of fire behind me when I'm walking around out here, it's or it's definitely like bigger drifting in the wind, like behind us? Like your tail is definitely fire. bigger, and like also tra- making a trail behind it. Oh, when you're out here, Ooh, shit! I assume at this point everybody goes back into the cab. I I rush in, yeah, get back into the cab, seal up all the holes that are there, and tell. Uh, psychosis. Psychosa. I'll tell Psychosis, like, they, they got choppy. We gotta go back. We gotta go get him. I'm sorry about your friend, but we can't go back. Don't roadblock me. Turn around. <laughs> <Just kidding. laughs> the Shit. Ekans will say that it's okay. He wasn't very, he wasn't very good tactically. He doesn't make very good choices during combat. <laughs> 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 what? Uh, Why is that funny? He put a pregnant meow on the crane. Making intelligent checks. Everybody knows she has pregnancy brain. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, wow. Gosh. Wow. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Sorry, <laughs> Sorry out there. Listeners. Yeah, I would assume that the storm's just too dangerous. We have to keep moving. So, um, but you I guys will... are resigned to lose your friend? No, I, I, will, I want to try and convince her, like, we, we need him. He's our friend. We can't leave him behind. She shakes her head. You can make some sort of charisma check. I want to try like. and uh, grab the wheel and try and turn the car. Oh, so you want to make her, like a, I want to try and just tell her, like, no, we have to. Let me look up her stats. They are superior. I'm sure she's Charmander much stronger stats. than me, but I just want to, like, show that I care about other Pokemon or other Pokemon crew member and just be like, well, that's it. <laughs> so how are you, are you, how do you want to grab it? Is this like a strength check? I'll or just you grab it with my, it her, with my hand, like, claws. I'll try and overpower her. With, yeah, I'll just try it? and. Uh, grab it with my short dinosaur okay. T-Rex hands and just try well, and turn cadab- it. Cadavers are not very strong, but... I've been rolling some real stinkers tonight. You have. That's Is that an athletics check or... Just strength. Strength. Nine. 17 minus one. Wow. 16. All right, you win. Yeah, she... <laughs> uh, she was so focused on driving. You go to tug it and you're just like... You, she's in another place uh, guiding this wheel. I will look out the back window where I last saw Choppy and you just see a tear start to form down my cheek, but it quickly turns to flame. Or not flame, it quickly turns to steam because Love of it. how hot I am. So, Choppy is uh, really resourceful. He can get one of those bikes and, and make it out of there. If, I've already taken a lot of damage in there. I don't want to go back in there. And your voice got real gruff all it's of a, a sudden. It's this poison <laughs> out here. I just get into it to my voice box. <laughs> Chuck, take a point of inspiration for here. Sweet. I'll take it. You guys continue deeper into the storm. I can't wait for Matt to hear 
that I said. <laughs> like, oh, the he wasn't shit you've been saying. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he wasn't a very good player. Uh, yeah. <laughs> You gotta be nice to him. He's DMing the next one, I guess. Oh, yeah, that's <laughs> right. Psychosa. She says, "Did you see when your your flames hit those poison plumes, dust devils?" Yeah, there was a. Uh, the explosions were much bigger. You had your eyes closed. How'd you see it? Yeah, that's true. I see more with my eyes open. I'm sorry. I see more. With- <laughs> Yeah, everybody does. <laughs> I see more. I see more with my eyes closed than you do open. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so what? What's your point? They did, we, the flames just—they were just bigger. We're heading to the center of the storm. What? And Why? Charlie, when we get to the center of the storm, I want you to light up one of those tornadoes that touch the sky. Uh, sure. We're taking this whole storm down. Oh, she wants to burn it up. Yeah. And then kill all the... Uh, coughings and wheezings. and wheezings and all that shit inside of it. I see. Okay. Um. Well, so if we're in the center of the storm, are we going to be safe there or are we going to have to make a quick getaway? We'll see. Snow kind of makes some sounds because she only has one HP left and everyone remembers how hurt she is. <laughs> is there a way to, to get some healing? <laughs> <laughs> Do you have any band- a first aid kit in this truck? Um, sure, there's a first aid kit. There's one band-aid. One band-aid. <laughs> Put it on the cat's tail. Do you have a you want to make a medicine check? Yeah, I'll do a medicine check. Go for it. What are you smiling over there for? <laughs> just just a, the idea of a Pokemon making a medicine check. Well, and that you too, have and no it's, a, it's a guy without hands. hands yes, He's just opening this, it up. This worm. I got so an many, awesome tail. Come on now. There's I so many absurdities. I do hand to do this. <laughs> slide like, tail. You I, hands. I edited the character sheet and I crossed <laughs> off hand and I put tail. I just love the idea of you like trying to roll a bandage across your body to roll it's it across uns- her arm. unsuccessful. <laughs> two. Oh, I get tangled up in the, in the bandage. <laughs> so, somebody help her. Somebody help her. Here, let me try. I'll go and try and do a medicine check on her, I guess. So. Okay, sure. Since I have hands. 15. But you got to you... do your minus two for intelligence. And this is uh, wisdom. Medi- medicine? Oh, it is? Right? Are we doing medicine check here? Yeah. Or... Medicine? Yeah. 15. Oh, so I rolled a four last time then. Nice. <laughs> really made a difference. <laughs> so the snake is is just like writhing on a box, trying to get some of the bandages and things out of it. But you uh, you manage to actually use your claws to pop it open. And you're like, I've seen some humans do this before. Yeah. And then you kind of start trying to figure it out. I would say, I don't want to kill her, but I would use my tail, the flame on it, to mm-hmm. kind of cauterize sure. some of her... Her open slashes. wounds, yeah, because yeah, she's really beat up. She has one HP, right? Yeah. So, try and close some of those up, and so you do one apply. fire damage to her. <laughs> <laughs> Boom! Well, she's dead. Dead. <laughs> I'm going for uh, special effects. No, she's, yeah, just trying to screams her, in yeah. pain as you're doing something. And I'll that. wrap it up and throw some neosporin on there or something. She's like, "Are you sure this is how this works?" Yeah, uh, check back in a week or something. Where's a Clefairy when you need one? Yeah, <laughs> don't they heal? I don't know what <laughs> they, work in the, they work in the clinic, right? Clefairies or yeah, Clefables. Yeah. What's Clefables? the big egg, egg looking the egg, one? The egg is a Clefairy. Yeah, is it Blissey? I don't know. No, Clefairy is the egg one. Okay, All right. You know, I look that up. Yeah, Chancy is, is the Chancy is what I'm thinking yeah. of. Yeah, is that a is Chancy a Gen One Pokemon? Yeah, I think so. Well, in the original yeah, yeah, 150. Yeah. 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 I don't know. <laughs> I'm going to stop answering Pokemon questions. I'm okay. just so out of it now with Pokemon. Same. But she's on like the original show. Yeah, that's what I. That's how I think I know what it is. Mm-hmm. But uh, Misty carries around that egg Pokemon Togepi the whole time, and that's not one of the 150. That's yeah, true. So. It's not. Yeah, it's not. Better do our research for the. <laughs> <laughs> People call us out. It's fine. Yeah. Those motherfuckers messed up Pokemon. <laughs> I'm gonna they fight. ruined it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, so, uh, yeah, I'll tell Psychosis. I was like, yeah, let's get to the, the, the eye of the storm. 
At this point now, Midnight and Ice are holding up the big sheet of leather to the passenger side window, protecting everyone from the poisonous air. Dust and, and dirt keep scratching up and cracking up the front windshield, and it's getting harder and harder to see through it. But it does not deter or slow down the cadabra at the wheel, Psychosa. She drives you guys further and further through the storm, and you see in the middle of this storm, the thing that everything's been kind of spinning and spinning about, a massive, massive tornado in the eye of the storm that's huge, 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 huge. Like you're driving past it and it's taking you several minutes to just kind of get around to it through the other side. And Psychosa says, Charlie, now's your chance. Let's burn this motherfucker down. <laughs> I guess I shoot a fireball in my it's, mouth. Or so something. you crawl out, <laughs> crawl out to the back of the truck and yeah. you breathe in your lungs super, super deep, coughing and hacking on this poison air. Roll to attack. I use my inspiration, so just to make sure I get this. Good thing I did. I rolled a three. 16 plus five is 21. Yeah, so you spit out that giant flame, and there are other smaller tornadoes between you and the massive, massive tornado in the center. It just deftly, deftly dodges and goes in between all those other tornadoes, and you see it hit this massive, massive tornado. I mean, we're talking like, it is like skyscraper wide, huge, like a city block or two wide, just ignite and fire burns around its midsection and starts spinning and creeping up and whirling about the twister. And the flames make it all the way to the top, up to the kind of the thick poison sea, and you guys see fire starting to spread above. And when she called you out to shoot the fireball at the, the center mass of the storm, you guys were already kind of passing this, this part of the storm. And so you guys are trying to make your way out as fire starts spreading above you and everything glows yellow and orange and little bits of flames just start raining down from the poison sea above you. And you see coughings and wheezings screaming out as, I don't, I'm not sure what that sounds like. <laughs> Great, thank you. I'm glad you guys had, had something for me. <laughs> you, you see them just uh, flames would just go uh, across the sea and then straight into them and they would just their eyes light up and their bodies burn from the inside out and they incinerate just a whole ocean of them lighting on fire yes so you guys are being chased by just a, a collapsing wall of flames a whole sky made of fire as you drive through darting fire tornadoes through the other side of the storm. And then boom, you drive through another dust wall and you made it out. Yeah! I'll just <laughs> cheer for excitement, but then I'll remember my friend Choppy is somewhere in that storm. Probably about to get his ass toasted. <laughs> yeah, if, if he hasn't made it out yet, then he's not making it anywhere. Because he's dead. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure. I thought you were going to say, like, yeah, I'm sure he's punching at the air, trying to fight it off or something. <laughs> Probably doing push ups. You guys look behind you and you see the storm itself now has changed from its, its gray green mass to one of just yellow and flames, and it's burning and burning and burning. And actually, you can almost see it shrinking, like it's eating itself alive with flames. The truck that you're in, smoke is, is pouring and pouring and pouring from the hood. Psychosa says, I think we need to make a quick pit stop, but I know a place. You got to pee? No, I... <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> no, I need to fix this truck and maybe get some gasoline. But I know a human society nearby here. The friends. We'll go to them. Lead the way. The six of you continue driving through the wasteland, and it's just, it's nice. It's nice to, well, it's nice to 
almost see the sky beyond the, the gray, gray mass of clouds far above you. You can definitely breathe a lot easier. Everybody in this time, feel free. Actually, you guys are driving for a while here, so everybody go ahead and take a long rest. This is the Ekans. My voice has changed back to normal. <laughs> I take a nap. I slowly start to wake up. What do I see? Actually, let's think here about how much time has passed. You guys left like early, early in the morning. Drove for a few hours, got chased around, drove through that storm. That actually didn't take that long. You guys took a nap, been riding pretty, pretty interruption free here for, you know, a couple hours. We'll say three or four hours just driving down the road. She says she knows where she's going, but you guys are clearly not that close. I get real worried that psychosis is falling asleep behind the wheel. She has her, her eyes, eyes open are, again. Oh, she's open, so, so yeah, now she absolutely. can see. <laughs> yeah. She just needed to focus when she was in the storm. That's good. I want to make sure you stay awake. <laughs> I'll take over driving for her if she wants no, to. No, 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 no. Let her. Uh, she's fine. She's got it. She's got, <laughs> I guess she never got hit. Yeah. So you guys did have, um, we'll see also, you guys had a little pit stop where you just pulled over to the side of the road and she just checked some things out and kind of mm. cleaned up the car or anything. Um, Is there any milk? You check for milk. There's no milk. All right. The milk was just for flavor, Robbie. <laughs> like, you see any Snorlaxes around here? Yeah, there's no giant tanker. They brought the milk on the tanker on the movie, okay? <laughs> the milk is milk is in here. It's in it's inside all of us. There's at least some water, right? I can have a drink of water. Yes, yeah. There's some there's some uh, gallon jugs of water. I spray the cats down with some water. Hot. <laughs> What is going it's on here? Hot. Is this like some car wash scene or something? <laughs> if you've ever seen the movie, like yeah. the first time you see these... They're spraying themselves down with water. Yeah. Uh, hosing themselves it's like off. this, I'm just like, whoa. And like, in this world, they're, they're like, they're like these supermodels and like they're spraying yeah. themselves down with water. These Meowths are basically supermodel Meowths. Uh-huh. They're babes. They're total babes. Yeah. Total babes. Meowth babes. Mm-hmm. I wet them down a little bit. <laughs> I guess if we're bathing, I'm off in my own little area because I don't want anybody to splash me. No. So, <laughs> it's I, have, I got all over. three chicks with myself. <laughs> all yeah. four. All four of them are with me. <laughs> yeah. Um, all right. So you wait, Chuck, you're off by yourself for, for a second? I just step away for, yeah, because I don't want to be too close. If he's spraying them with water, I have oh, like yeah. a fear of water. Say, yeah, so if go. I'm going to kind of clean off, I don't need to be so, in an area where it's a little more calmer. So while you're cleaning yourself off, you're a little bit away from the rest of the group. And you're looking down the road from where you came, thinking about that massive storm you guys drove through. And you see on the horizon a caravan of cars heading towards you. Dust kicking up in the trail. I immediately tell my team, like, we gotta move, we gotta move, 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 move. Psychosis says, everybody, in the car. And I wave everybody in, like, come on, come on, come on, come on. I uh, wrap the (laughs) hose up. Scup, scup. The hose, I thought. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. the, the water hose up, I wrap it up, and I get in the back in the truck. <laughs> We're going to have to wrap your hose up after talking about all these meows. Jeez, oh gosh. I thought Sorry. you were the hose. I thought you were just like sucking up some water. And just spitting and, right. it. I kind of was picturing that too. <laughs> That's what I was really? thinking. Oh, yeah, okay. you were just spitting yeah, some of the no water. Hose. You guys just water. have some water. Yeah. <laughs> I just feel so bad about spitting none. It's like Women. playful, I guess. I don't know. Yeah. Oh, you're not spitting. Well, I mean, yeah, I guess you are. But so anyway, <laughs> the six of you, the six of you, pile into the cab of the truck and begin to take off. And as you're driving, you guys feel the the engine violently shake underneath the hood of the truck. It kicks and knocks and and buzzes and whirs, and you're like, this is something's not right. And you guys just aren't driving nearly as fast as you need to be up ahead you guys see a canyon two giant rock walls with uh plateaus on their top going down and the road itself cuts right through the center of of this canyon and furios is like all we need to do is get right there if we can get to that canyon we'll be okay but it's 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 a struggle. It's an absolute struggle for this vehicle to move at the at the rate that it needs to move. And the caravan keeps catching up and catching up and catching up on you. Is it like an open engine? Is it like sticking out of yeah. the trunk? 
No, is it like the one vehicle? Because I was gonna, I was thinking like that one vehicle that I shot where I caught it, caught it on fire, and it the engine caught and it started to speed up. Uh, no, it's and not like that. It doesn't have like one that. of those okay. that you can. I was thinking when you did that, I was thinking of there's a scene in the the movie where the the guy just squeezes nitrous like right into the top of yeah. one of those engines. Mm-hmm. This is just a tow truck, just a normal old hood on a tow truck. Maybe we can lose some weight. Throw one of the cats out. I know. <laughs> yeah, my thought process is like we need to lose some weight. I would go go out and start pushing off some of the toolboxes and stuff. Okay. Uh, give yeah, me... just like to scatter all the shit all over the place. Like, we need to push this shit off. Are you trying to rip them off the side of the truck and yeah, get like, rid of them? Yeah, we, like, we need to lose some weight. Give me a strength check. Oh, man. Uh, are you getting help? Yeah, ice is going to help me. 17? It's a 14. Yeah, so the two of you jump out to the back of the truck and you uh, even start using a crowbar to pop loose and unscrew some of these toolboxes yeah. and throw them off the back of the truck. Yeah, I'll say I'll, 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 I'll kind of breathe some fire on them to try and melt them, too. Uh, like some of the bolts and shit and shit. Awesome. Yeah, it's working. Robbie, do you have anything you're gonna help? Yeah, <laughs> I, w- I will jump out the window and I will go to like the air filter. Is it like on a big pipe on the outside where I can like smack some of the sand and crap out of it, clean out the air filter some. Sure. Do some trucks have an outside air filter? I think there was one in the movie. Are you talking about like <laughs> the pipe, like the, yeah, uh, the muffler, the exhaust, the exhaust, yeah, the exhaust and so stuff? I'll smack some. Uh, I'll smack some sand out of the exhaust pipe. Sure. Yeah, so you're, uh, actually, we can even say, is that underneath, or is that on the side? Does it have one of those big ones on the side, like a... It can either be either or, it's your truck. It's up the side. I mean, that, it's, it's our world, so wherever you think it makes I sense for your character. I uh, imagine it's on the front, it's like a short pipe, in mm-hmm. case it, like uh, some trucks have a short pipe to, to go underwater. I can imagine like being one of those. Okay. So I'll have to get on the hood a little bit, and I'll smack it with my uh, slide of tail. <laughs> <laughs> Sure. As you're slapping it, you realize that there might be something in it, and you reach your tail on the inside. Reach you're my... slapping it, and then <laughs> yeah, you're, slapping, I... and you're like, "This is this something's I... wrong here." I penetrate my tail on the top of there, and I I try to grab whatever it is. All right, roll. Oh, Ooh, that's a sixteen plus seven. Did you want the whole number? Twenty-three. Twenty-three. Yeah. <laughs> Twenty-three. <laughs> Yep. <laughs> so yeah, your tail just grabs, just it pokes through. Actually, you start grabbing something, but you realize you can just poke through it, and it's just a pile of of dirt and bone and ash from your previous adventure through the cloud, and it explodes up out of the pipe, and you, and it also helps the vehicle move forward. Hell yeah! You guys continue to speed, speed down this dusty, dusty highway, and all of the trucks they're still gaining on you, but not nearly as bad. And then, actually, you realize psychosis is psychosis is purposefully slowing down, and she's like, "I need them to be a little bit closer." I will brace for whatever the hell she is talking about, so I will jump back into the cab. Let's get back inside. Rob, you back in the cab? Yeah, I will say, what the fuck? You couldn't have told that us that any <laughs> earlier. When I actually, when I jumped out on the cab, you're going this fast. I'm doing these dangerous moves. You couldn't have told me that any earlier. I go back in the cab and I buckle up. <laughs> yeah, whatever. She rolls her eyes. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah okay. I have my little rant, and that's what I wanted, to, is to rant, and then I buckle up. You guys go. Uh, i actually take a point of inspiration for that. Thanks. I'm failing any any in character role playing. It sounds like I don't think you like Psychosa at all. I don't. She helped kill Mad Max. Yeah, she so did. So I don't like her. Good. Good. Hate her. Be, oh, feed yeah. your anger. I'm the only one that didn't shake her hand too. A bunch of traitors. So you guys are going. The caravan starts catching up, and it's a big caravan. There's a fire truck, a bus, uh, other small trucks, uh, dune buggies, cars. There's, it's a huge, huge, massive group of vehicles, and they're catching up and catching up and catching up and catching up to you. All of a sudden, right as you guys are about to enter the canyon, Psychosa steps on the gas. And not only does she step on the gas, but you could also feel like her psychic energy itself helping propel the car and launching it forward. And as she's launching it forward into the canyon, you guys feel everything shake around you as explosions happen over your head and you guys make it through the canyon while rocks and and debris starts falling from the sides of the canyon onto the caravan itself and you guys hear explosions as they're crashing and wrecking their cars right into the canyon everywhere 
and Psychosa slows down her slows down the truck to a stop and coming down from the mountain walls down the canyon walls towards you guys are five humans all wearing army fatigues with various weapons strapped to their bodies hi i'm i'm charlie <laughs> well you can't understand me <laughs> yeah char, 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 char. and i think that's uh, where we'll call it no. Thanks for sticking your teeth in a crit sandwich. Please give us a review on iTunes or the Apple Podcasts app. Please follow us on Twitter, Facebook, or email us at critsandwichpodcast at gmail.com.